so when I graduated college, I traveled the country for two months, hopped in a car um, and just drove to every state, spent a week in Hawaii and Alaska and camped in a tent on the other you states. You to Hawaii, did you? No, we flew from uh, LA. When I when I got back, I uh, I gained like seventy pounds over this cross country road trip. I mean, I was two hundred. I was almost two hundred fifty pounds at the time. And uh, a lot of fast. The girl. Time. Yeah, and I mean, you're sitting in a car for 12, 16 hours a day. Um, and so the girl I was dating at the time, she was living in Charlotte, and I was like, I'm going to move to Charlotte after I graduate college. So. I did that. That's where I got my first in, or my first like big boy job. And uh, I lived down there for two years. I trained with Steve Hall for jujitsu. I don't know if you know who he is, but he is like, he's a, he's a black belt under hoist. Um, really, really good grappler. Um, and so when her and I broke up, I moved back home and th- this is where like, uh, it was interesting. So I went from, I was getting ready to buy a house in Charlotte, uh, getting ready to get married had a really nice successful job. And within three days I was living in my sister's moldy basement in Fairmont, West Virginia with no job, like no source of income. Uh, and it was a reality check. And so from, from there, I got another job at a local engineering firm and I I worked there for two years before I decided to open my affiliate. I haven't shared the story with a lot of people. So when you're about to share with about a dozen, so congrats. Yeah. So when I was at my heaviest and and, and me and this girl broke up, I went to her parents and I was like, will you please help me convince her to stay with me? And her dad was just like, you're a piece of shit and I don't want you to be with my daughter. And, uh, you have a, a, why would you say that? I mean, you have a two degrees, you're an educated guy. You came from hard times. Why would somebody say that? Uh, because I was kind of a piece of shit at that time. Like I, you know, (laughs) when you're, when you're unhappy with yourself, you kind of put that on other people. And that's, that's what I was doing was putting it on her. And I am honest about that now. Um, I'm, I'm really happy now, but at the time I wasn't happy with myself. So when I moved back home, I, I uh, got back with my old jujitsu school and uh, got with a personal trainer and I dropped that 70 pounds in three months and uh, started competing in CrossFit competitions, like local CrossFit competitions. Um, I ran a 50k at, at one point to raise money for charity. Uh, I won our state strongman competition that year. Like, this is, I was just you, on a roll. What was the story? You know, you go back, you tell this guy, "Hey, can, can you help me convince your daughter to stay with me?" And you, what, what's really the the part of it that you were like, "I've never told anybody." Where does it go from there? He says, "You're a piece of shit." Pretty much that. Like, I was. I was embarrassed that someone that didn't was think your, I was good enough. But that was the kick in the ass you needed. Do you ever, have you ever reached out to that dude and be like, thank you? Like, yeah, he called me a year afterwards and said, I didn't think you, so he said three words to me that like, just it ate at me for a long time. He said, people don't change. And I was like, well, I'm going to, I'm going to change. 